Hey, 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 guys! At Orange here, so we're back with some more Batman Telltale series. We're in episode two, about halfway through, as always. Um, so we're in a scene where you get to choose or not, rather, uh, Batman, well, Bruce and Selina, aka Catwoman, kiss or not. And I've made a decision. I decided I'm gonna make him kiss. So let's do this. Let's make him kiss, man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> she rejected him. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Hmm. No, no, no. Oh, that was Bruce. Dang, all these choices. Oh, that was Bruce. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. <laughs> Choices were made. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir? Bruce Wayne? To see you? He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you, but you're a day late and a great many dollars short. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war, but I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, 
we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising no. spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm the man who'd throw you over this rail without a second thought, and my lawyers make this whole thing disappear before you hit the ground. <laughs> if that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. You know Harvey is going to embarrass you out there. Dent's campaign is on its last legs. Tonight, it hits the canvas. It's you who's going downhill, and you're not getting back up. Ooh. <laughs> Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. And these episodes are going way faster than the uh, my previous one, for sure. Chapters, I should say. I think they're chapters. For it continues on. I am kind of curious as to how much we have left in terms of... Probably 30% through the game, so... Anyway, um... Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we have one more. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Complete chapter 5, episode 2. Yeah, we got one more chapter, so... Should be done pretty soon. Oh, people really like this game. You can kind of tell um, from just the rarity things. Because usually the rarity hits to like 17% on the other ones. But it's at 40, only on episode 2. It's pretty high. It usually jumps to 20 from here on out. Anyway, so I got one more chapter. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract. Else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater, the auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed 
first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. All right. Let's... Gotham District Where Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Batman! Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why, why? What happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Oh, I thought to answer. <laughs> Probably. Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Oh, you like don't you know how die. much this means to me. Uh, to Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember, you are always my friend. It'd be funny if he actually puts on this Batman voice while talking to Bruce. Like, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> be kind of funny if you ask me. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. 
Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, he's so dead. Quality, they both probably yes, are. A mass vigilante loose on our streets. Well, not dead, but Batman died. Hey, Catman died. Catwoman died. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn sons of Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Yes. <gasps> Thank you Wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Sounds Fun. 
Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My gallant brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that's rooted your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. They knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chose it to me. Go on, love. You know what to do. Father was dead. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We'll both be together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Certainly know how to make an entrance. Uh. 
Go! Why don't you kick the crap out of him? Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> God, not again with the choices. Why the choices? Oh, goodness gracious. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to choose. Oh my gosh, that choices are so hard. Ah, uh, uh, I like Selena more than Harvey. Selena might be more useful. I'll save Selena. Uh, Oh, damn. Oof, he's dead. Well, he might not be dead. Hold your fire, damn it! Oh, sheesh. Oh, he's still alive, though. Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here, now! Oof, that was heavy. God damn, I feel bad now. I don't know. I don't know, like, what would happen to Catwoman and just, oh, choice. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public.
Meow. <laughs> Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Is that so? We did it. Yeah, there was very narrow margins game. It's very narrow. Jeez. All right, let's see how I did on my choices. Did you see? Did you ease? I did ease this Falcon's pain. Well, what's seventy other percent? Did you? <laughs> we all tried. Ah, uh, but we didn't actually kiss her. Yeah, we tried to. We really did. Did you visit Mayor Hill as Bruce or Batman? Hmm. Did you withdraw your funny? No, a lot of people didn't withdraw it. Let's see who picked who. Ah, you put your Selena over Harvey. Oh, that's funny. Everyone's on the side of Catwoman and Batman being a thing. That's so cute. All right, well, I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. That was intense. It was a shorter episode, but it was way heavier. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Out of Orange with some Batman Telltale series. End of episode two. I'll catch you guys in the next video with some more. I'm excited. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I can do too. Make a girl happy. And as always, stay tuned.